love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends uh, this is Prasun Krishna Sharma in today's video we'll be seeing about python coding don't worry if you ha if you don't have any programming background as i always say my style of coaching is for the non technical people so even if you are a cab driver uh, you know or a farmer i'm not trying to demean any profession but what i'm actually trying to say is even if you don't have any basic understanding of what computer is and what programming can do you can still watch this lecture okay uh, all you need to have is basic understanding of english and basic understanding of mathematics okay a python is such a powerful programming language and such an easy uh, programming language that if you if you understand english basic english and basic mathematics you are good all right so having said that let's actually get into python coding deep dive thank you namaste friends so today we'll be seeing about uh, <clears throat> python programming as i actually told in the introduction you need not have any programming background okay uh, don't worry about it okay uh, the some of the common fears that i've actually seen is hey i don't know code coding i'm afraid of coding i have not done coding uh, coding is not my cup of tea don't worry friends i got you all covered i strongly believe if you have basic understanding skills of english if you can either speak or understand basic english and if you can actually understand basic mathematics you guys are good and still if you're not able to do the programming it is not your mistake this is my mistake as a mentor i kind of failed and i have to take up the responsibility so in today's agenda what we'll be seeing is why python why python has been vastly used and why what makes it so very easy okay uh, we are not going to be having quests so don't worry about it uh, i just put it you know just for you know if some persons are curious and if they want to try you can uh, you know so that you know so that is why i actually put it okay so let's actually move on to the next slide so the python language can you believe it it was actually invented in 1991 and you know this language has been you know there for quite some time at least three decades it has vastly grown it's it's got an amazing growth curve okay it has almost been done everywhere like web web development server side common scripting software development and as i said mathematics you can do small mathematics like arithmetic mathematics and very complex mathematics and any of the big data applications and even iot's internet of things and the raspberry pis so python almost actually happens in the day to day life and that is why i'm actually taking this course today all right uh, so what can python do as i said it can do everything including the big data complex mathematics connect into any kind of database for you to actually retrieve uh, it is used in cloud computing your aws or azure uh, or even google for the say uh, you know so python is becoming indispensable python actually if you see it is very enviable it can work in any platform Microsoft, Windows, Mac, Linux, Raspberry Pi, anything. Okay. So as I said, Python is nothing but a simple English language with some basic uh, math understanding. All right. Uh, so Python runs on the interpreter system, meaning that the code can be executed as soon as it is written. So how good is this? If you actually write a code, if you actually check it, it can be executed. You can actually check for the results, right? So how good it is? Okay. And the other thing that you really, really want to know is, but you know, say suppose in C, C++, I'm not sure whether you guys have even heard it or whether you're still aware of it. A code which can actually run into pages is only a few lines or few commands in Python. How cool is it? Okay, let's move on. So the syntax. So my name is Prasanan Krishna Sharma, right? So if you guys want to say, hey, Pras, and if you want to print the same, it's print, hey, Pras. Okay, so we all know 10 is greater than 3, 10 is greater than 5, 5 is greater than 3, 5 is greater than 2. This is simple mathematics, right? So this is one kind of a math command. And you have many things, okay? Addition, subtraction, division, just some, you know, basic things. And you can actually print the same thing, okay? So we will also be seeing, you know, some real-time examples in today's lecture itself. 
So Python is basically case sensitive. This is one thing that I want you guys to actually understand this case sensitive. What I mean by case sensitive is Pras P is capital, R is small. Okay, so this is one capital letter, one small letter. So if you actually assign this Pras to this small Y, where this Y takes on this Pras and the capital Y takes on this Pras, this capital Y will not overwrite small Y. It will be very useful when you're actually coding. Right now, it is just information, but it will be very useful when you actually start practicing and always start practicing. Okay, there is something called as, um, you know, global variable. What is a global variable? I don't understand. What is a variable? We just saw just saw what a variable is, that Y, small Y and capital Y holding RAS. Something global is actually defined at the top of the code, but it actually applies everywhere. How do I say it? Everybody will be knowing traffic lights today. So across the globe, we have red, amber, green. So this is global, right? So from India, you don't come to America and say that red means go, green means stop. No, across the globe, whether you're in India, Africa, um, Asia, Europe, Latin America, you know, anywhere, anywhere in the globe, it all means the same. Red means stop. So that is exactly what the global variable is. If you actually put on the top of it, you can actually call it everywhere, okay? So this is what the global variable is, okay? So we don't have this. As I always say, you can actually contact me, you know, in my LinkedIn and, you know, I'll be available for you. And you can also read my blog spot, okay? Uh, so the only thing that I would actually like to add here is it's Evat Pras slash blog. Um, I need to correct it. It's an oversight from my end. Uh, I, will, I will actually correct it. So let's actually get into real-time examples and see how Python actually works. Thank you. I must say, friends, uh, I'm so very excited to actually get into uh, Python programming, okay? So we'll be using Jupyter Notebooks. And, uh, you know, let me, there are multiple ways where you can actually access Python, but we'll be using Jupyter Notebooks because keeping in the current course and the future courses in mind. So if you see today, you know, everybody is actually using Jupyter Notebooks like in data science, uh, you know, even AWS, like SageMaker and, you know, many, many, many things. Okay, so that is why I thought like it would be better to actually go for the latest and greatest, uh, you know, and I also prefer using Jupyter Notebooks. So how do we actually use Jupyter Notebooks? Nothing to worry. I actually use this thing called Anaconda. Okay, so this is the Jupyter Notebooks I actually, actually, actually see. So, you know, so Jupyter, uh, you know, depending upon where you are, it is um, in the Indian subcontinent, it's called Guru, right? So, you know, I consider this to be my, my Guru as well uh, because there's lots you can actually do here. Um, so I actually go to this Anaconda and I actually download this Anaconda distribution and this is the anaconda.com product slash distribution. So you can actually download this software. It is free. You need not pay a single penny and you will get something like this, an Anaconda Navigator. And, uh, you know, you need not, it has got a bunch of things. A bunch means a bunch of things. It's so very cool. Um, and I always launch this Jupyter Notebooks from here. Okay, so having said that, uh, let's actually, uh, otherwise what you can do is if you want, if you want, if you're interested in using the command prompt, first check whether you have Python installed in your computer. So how do I do it? So I actually go to my command prompt and then I actually type in Python. So it actually tells me that I've already installed Python 3.10.4. So the command prompt, I have to write everything here. I have to run everything here. It is a lot more cumbersome and I prefer Jupyter Notebooks as I told you. So this is one thing. If you don't see this here, what you can do is you can go to python.org and then you can download the same um, and this will be useful. All right. Um, so let's actually get into the programming now. Thank you. I must say, friends. So today uh, I'm so very excited to actually get into the real world of hands-on coding. Okay. As I always say, you know, kindly practice, practice and practice. That is what is going to make you better. So once the Jupyter, the Anaconda has been installed, it's going to give you something. This is like, you know, it is also called the server installed. Uh, you know, so all these things that you see, it is just like, what is it in my, you know, in my uh, computer. So don't worry about it. I'll be interested. I created this Python scripts and I'll be interested in going to this folder. Now, when it actually comes to running the scripts, all I want you to do is just go click on this. It'll actually open up another window. 
and let's actually you know say this okay so what what i actually want to do here is uh, i want to say print hello ras how are you do it okay so if i actually run this let's actually see what what comes in see hello pras how are you doing item is very simple so printing is basically telling you you know uh, what you're actually like and if you want to print something if you you know just like normal printing like printing a paper or whatever it is so that is what it is and we have actually done this okay so you know this as i said simple english is what it is now having said simple english i also said there's something with mathematics right so let let's actually go into the mathematics part and let's actually try a few things hey before that i just want to say since this is the first lecture we'll be only testing with few commands and the way will be like we'll be knowing commands we'll be knowing the syntaxes and we'll be trying so you know many things before we actually get into uh, you know real time world scenarios you know which like will come later in the game okay so thank you so if i want to say if 10 is greater greater than 3 okay i just want to do something here i'll tell you print 10 is greater then 3 now let's actually run this and see what happens there is a syntax error okay invalid syntax very nice let's actually see what is the syntax error and what i actually missed as as we always say learning is by doing did you notice one thing last time my print actually came here but this time when i actually after this indent it the print is actually coming here did you notice that So I just want you guys to notice that ten is greater than three. Now let's actually run this. Boom! That's it. Okay, very simple. The only thing is a small syntax, and the beauty of Jupyter Notebook is if I don't like this code, I can go here, cut it. It's gone. That's all. Now, having said that, you can actually try a lot of things here. You know, such as like you know, whatever mathematical commands that you want. you can actually try okay so there is there is no problem uh, you know in that so the commons are these are the commons so you can actually try all these things let's actually take only one more thing which is called the variables which we actually saw in the slide and we can call it for a day today okay so the variable is i'm going to say x equals all uh, strings are like this pras and i'm going to say y equals jay shri my wife and if you see like you know sarcastically i put x as small as mine and y jay shri my wife is as big okay so i'm not sure about your house but this is the reality of mine i'm going to say print x and print y okay so let's actually run this see pras and jay shri so this is called the variable i have assigned variable pras to be assigned with variable x Was assigned JC to be assigned with capital variable Y. All right. So this is what the variable to high level is. And in the next lecture, we'll be seeing more. I think for the first lecture is a good start. Thank you, friends. I must say, friends, I want to thank you for giving me your valuable time to you know to, to watch my video. I trust you might have actually enjoyed and learned few things. Um, I can actually assure you that I will try and upload at least. one video per week okay because there is also aws going on and blockchain going on as you may have actually seen from other things um i will definitely try to do one one video uh in a per week and we will cover all the basic concepts before we actually start getting the real time example where i will also be coding and there is so much and so much that you can actually do it is not necessary that you have to be in a 9 to 5 job to do python coding you can do it in your day to day example gain experience and feel good about yourself all right uh, so till we see for the next time uh, cheers so i want to thank you again and thank my wife jayashree for you know allowing me to you know follow my passion and you know giving me uh, time to do so thank you take care guys